Okay. So a lot of requests for manual batting tips. Let's see what we get. Taking a while. Usually when it takes a while, usually it means it's going to be a bot. Not really quick. Again, unaffiliated. Okay. And level 12 Mueller. All right, so definitely a bot, so manual batting. Let's check it out. So one, again, like I said in the last video, I circle around to kind of get a good sense of the strike zone. Opposite field to the wall. You've got to understand the strike zone. You've got to know when to take balls. Just like regular baseball. That's terrible by me. And easy double up. So, bad example of using the strike zone there. Let's see if I can make it up for it real quick here. And to the gap. Now, of course, like level 13, the ball's coming a lot quicker than level 9, level 10, level 11. But understanding the strike zone is key. Ah. Uh, a little lucky there. I don't know what that is. It's not even called an air, but it goes right through the legs. So sometimes, as my coach would say, better be lucky than good. And cool right on time. So again, with, with manual batting, it's, it takes a lot of practice, obviously, but one, the first and most important thing is understanding the strike zone. Kind of just go around the edges knowing where to go with the cursor. And, you know, obviously with a the bot, they're throwing cheese, man. So when you guys get playing with bots, you just got to wait for your pitch. They're not try even at level 12, level 13, they're not trying to really trick you. It's like batting practice. All right. Pitching. So Jay, again, pretty decent with this guy so far. And again, when pitching, you sit there and kind of look at the corners. Now, bots are unpredictable. Some days, you just, you're going to lose. But so far, I've noticed that Jay's control inside is pretty weak. And Annie with the shot right down the pipe. Okay. Not much you can do there. You know, sometimes the computer is just going to ruin you. But stay consistent, understand the plan. I usually throw, no matter what pitcher I'm using, a lot of fastballs. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we need a little bit of off speed. Hopefully, get. Little ground ball or ridiculous diving catch. Okay, even bots, 500 batting average. Kevin, bases on. You know, two on, tie and run at the bat. This guy is still dangerous no matter what you do. So, gotta be careful. And, of course, the little weak ground ball. Okay, so, and of course now Murray's up and getting his boost is two runners on, so walk off home run. Or just another shot to the gap. This is getting to the point where, you know, you find a hole, gets through. Not much you can do. You make good pitches, hit the corners. But sometimes it's not your nights. Now, let's see. If we can get two strikes on Gibson here, we have a good... All right, foul ball. So here's one of my things I've been doing a lot. Fourth ball up high, strike three. Ah, okay. So let's try that one more time, a little more inside. There it is. That's I've been doing that for a while. I'll get a lot of high, high accuracy on that, right? It gets done. Now, now we got to get Durant to kind of do some Durant type things and choke. All right, so 
let's throw a little change up outside waist pitch as they say go back to that top fork ball inside guys trust me there's a new little i don't know if it's a glitch or not but it's we're working with any kind of fork ball pitcher so definitely try to hit that up you have a good chance getting that strike three get two strikes on them but manual hitting number one manual hitting work the strike zone understand the strike zone lay off bad pitches